Hello friends, myself Vyas Sarjeka and I am going to be the instructor for this project. So friends, uh, in this project I am going to teach you how to create an authentication system and uh, how to insert the data in the database, how to extract the data from the database and how to authenticate your data, given data on the front end interface with the back end interface. Okay, so let's go to what I am going to teach you. So friends. As you can see, this button will uh, this button. As you can see, localhost, PHP my admin, localhost, Wait a second. Here yeah, we'll write something. Register. Register. Okay. And this we will go. My database name is front end back end. Admin. Admin is a table name. Here, if I will give you the if I will give the username ditto and password one two three, just leave it here. Ditto, okay. Password one two three, and click on login. It will redirect you to the main page where we are going to fetch the image and the username. This is the image we have we have inserted into database. And username. Okay, in this way we have fetched the image and username. Now we will insert the data. Okay, the username we will give you something around Yash. Password one two three. Choose a file something. Uh, I'll choose the same image. Okay, and register. The account has been registered successfully. Okay, and how in in this video, I'm going to teach you how if we are giving a wrong credential to the front end, it will give it will give a pop-up message that how it is a wrong invalid username or password. For example, this 485. Okay, so you can see here invalid username and password. So these are all things we are going to teach you in this project. So stay tuned for this project. Thank you. Hello Jammers, welcome to Technical Hoda. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to create a front-end, back-end project. So friend, many people get confused on a topic that what is front-end, back-end. I will give you one example, Facebook. Facebook, you have a interface on which you can give your email, password and click, if you will click on login, it will redirect you on the next page. So friend, Facebook is the, the page we design is the front end and the email password where it gets stored is called database. Facebook has its own database. So in this way they have created the front end back end system. So the software required for front end back end is Notepad++, Google Chrome and WAMP server. These three softwares are required for us. So I'll show you from where you can download. So friends, the site name is download.cnet.com. From here, you can download the WAM server. Depending upon the PC requirement, you should download whether it is 64-bit or 32-bit. So the Notepad Plus, you can use any good text editor. I'm using Notepad Plus Plus. You can use any browser. I'm using Google uh, Google Chrome. So friends, let's start the front end back end project so friends i'll divide this project into into four parts by this project and i'll make sure make it sure that you will get it as soon as possible so let's start friends doc 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 type ht ml HD. Now is HD ML. Okay. 
the whole content of a web page is between HTML tag and head. Okay. The ID title. Title. Whichever title you want to give, you can give it. I'll give it login. Login. Form. Okay. Now we will design the body part. So friends, in the first part, I'll show you how only the designing part of the login page. Okay. First save it. Uh, friends, make sure that you should save this project. Whenever you download WAMP server, you should save this project in WAMP64. The automated for the automatically created folder is WAMP64. In that triple W folder and create a folder new folder and give it a name login so front end back end okay now just give the name index dot php and save the file okay now you will see that the color of the text has been changed so let's type the things now okay now we will create a new file and let's save this file uh, going back href and css is the folder name style style dot css okay mm. background background version city dot jpg jpg is the image i have this image city okay city image i am showing you the file location just copy this image and go to a www folder and front end back end and just paste it here okay city.jpg okay now division id just main wrapper okay yeah okay then let's create a form method this is for database reading thing method post pnc type what type of data you expect so, I mean you expect uh, accept kar rahe ho. what type of data you are expecting expect accepting multi part slash form form data okay now slash form form TABLE table mm, that should align 
लाइन सेंटर ओके स्टाइल कलर मीन्स द टेक्स्ट इन साइड दैट टेबल विल बी वाइट ओके एंड विथ ऑफ द टेबल आई विल गिव यू समथिंग अराउंड थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव पी एक्स पोजिशन रिलेटिव फ्रॉम टॉप आई वॉन्टेड टू समथिंग अराउंड इन सेंटर टू हंड्रेड पी एक्स border b o r d e r border 1 okay td style this style and this style position i'm doing this just because to save time if if we are going to do more more and more things so that uh, the time will be less required for your project and you can create as soon as as possible fast left from left 50 yes these are the standard dimensions i am giving this suitable for table background color hash 1 d 22 this is standard color uh, i'll show you i'll give you a link from where you can get Color codes. The link should be given into the description of the video. Okay, from in this center, I'm just at center. H three, H three, center. Okay, and. Just give it here. No G, no H. O I M form. Okay. Slash T D. Okay. Then we have created the first row, and now second row. center center in this uh, in this section we will need email or username username okay and now give input text input tag input tag in this type is text and name email please folder email okay uh so 
type username okay username username this names are you we, we are using for the database section coding php coding similarly copy this similarly copy this and give it the name so here we will create a row str td slash td ok here we will write something type is password pss password and here one center tag we used input type is equals to sub it's a submit type button and submit type button name sign in value login so this login value will display as a button okay style background color hash 4 272 9b okay colon semicolon color white this is the text color in the button with something around 100 pixels GHD height 40 pixel position relative relative top something around 5 pixels yeah was this is this much is enough ok slash c n ok done and this for the login button now we will create the register button td slash td ok center tag we will used same ok input type b u t t o n button ok Okay, type is button name. We will give here registration register or oh, register simple name. Okay, value register. Okay, now we will come on the styling part. equals to 
background color okay background color ash e d e 613 okay colon color same as we have done in uh, login button white with 150 pixels I GST height 40 pixels position relative from top 5 pixels ok Control S I uh, will just put the height for this table height something around 200 pixels ok so these are all standard things which I have given here Control S and now I will open our browser Yeah, the server has started. Uh, yes. Localhost frontend backend slash index.php. Okay. Yeah. So this is the final output. Okay. Of this video. Uh, we will type some username. Yeah, it's typing up. Password, it is in encrypted form as you can see. So let's see the next video. Thank you. Jammers, welcome to Technical Huda. So, friends, in last video, we started the front end back end project and we have completed up to the login page. In this video, I'm going to start with the, how to connect the database connectivity part and how to create a register page. Okay. So let's start the project. So friends, first we will start our VAM server. Yes. Yeah, it is green. Now we can start. Open your notepad. So here were we last time. So friends, open a new one, file and now I'm, I will write the database connectivity code in PHP format. Here we are using MySQLi database. Dollar con equals to my SQLI underscore connect. Okay. So local host host local host the username see friends. Uh, when I am starting Google Chrome, wait a sec. Yeah, when I am ty typing local host only, local host, clicking enter. Okay, so this type of page will come. Click on PHP My Admin. Yeah. 
just type it root so friends there is no password for this local or server so go click on go So now this type of page will get open. So here you should create a new database. Okay. Write any name of database. Or uh, I'll write uh, something front end back end. Okay and create click on create database get created okay table name here we will require only one table so write admin we will require username password and picture of the user so here we will require three columns okay Click on go. Yeah. Username. Here yeah, I will give it as text. Okay. Password. Text. And image. IMG. text okay and click on create um, let's add one more column okay serial number four let it give integer value up to 10 and it is auto incremented primary key yeah and click on save okay the table has been created you can browse the table so at this stage there is no data entered in the table so let's go and to the code so dollar con mysql li underscore connect localhost and here in this section we will write the username of our database root comma password section is not given so we will not write the password okay or Die. If database is unable to connect, we give such type of sentence. Sentence unable to connect. Okay. Now my SQLI underscore select underscore DB. Here, the variable name dollar con comma. Now here, in this section, you will write the database name. So what is the database name? Front end, back end. And back end. Okay. And save this create a new folder type in database in that folder config.php okay and click on save 
So in this way, this is the code of connecting the database with our front end. So friends, now just go here and just click here. Okay, enter PHP. Require now you have stored front and back end database in database folder config file. Okay, now just give the path database slash config.php. Okay, in this way. You connect yourself with the database okay now we will do something for register page okay create a new file just select the login index page control a control c and paste it here and save this page register dot php okay save it just give it here register register username password uh we don't require sign in button so cut it here from here okay okay and here we will need to call a submit type of button submit okay and one more row we will require in which we will upload the image td align center ust uh, upload image okay slash yeah. now slash td okay input type is equals to file this is an image file so the type we have given is here file not a text okay name img1 yeah we're done with uh for that we will change the image name let's download one image from google background images uh, yep this is perfect This is perfect. Cop save this image in that folder only front and back end. Yeah. 
is a stew. And now, register, okay, and save it. Just see what happens. The local host. Ah, wait. A second. dot php for a time we don't require this this code control s ah, wait a second local host front end back end register Yep. Here's a register button. Here's a file to be chosen. Okay. Now, coming on to the part of connectivity. How to create a login? Okay. So, Uh, one sec, here is some space and yeah. yeah, this in this way. And now we will code for this login button. Okay, now start PHP coding a login. Okay, so Uh, one sec, here is some space and yeah. yeah, this in this way. And now we will code for this login button. Okay, now start PHP coding. PHP. Okay. If set dollar underscore post there are two types of method post and get post means we are sending a request we we are responding to the, some uh, data and get means we are requesting the database to for some data so this are the difference there are two method post request uh, there are three uh, three methods post request and get get is for request method post is to redirect something okay now this name sign in will be here okay I have told in last video that we are going to use these names. Sign in, okay. Dollar user name, okay, is equals to dollar post. As I have said that uh, when we are creating the form tag here, form method post, we are taking input from the user, okay? And what user, what input you are taking? Username, okay? The name of this in text is username. Just go here and type it. Username, semicolon, okay? Dollar, password. 
post dollar underscore post this is w r d semicolon okay now here going to we start a query dollar you are query one equals to select job from data from the database what is the database name here we have given database name uh, which say database name the table name is Add select star from admin where table name is admin where username equals to dollar single quotes dollar username okay this name this name you have to put it here okay and and password equals to dollar yes w r d password okay dollar run we have to run this query query one equals to my s q align underscore u u e r y query okay so what is the variable name that we have given to this database file dollar con so dollar con comma dollar u u e r y query query one okay semicolon if now if my sq li underscore num underscore rows dollar run query one is greater than zero here after when we start this query the query will check our table if it found the row if it found a row so if it is greater than zero then g a d e r header Okay. Location uh, type it here main page dot php. Okay. Yep. Now else. Echo. Now we will want to give a pop-up message to the user that if it's an invalid password. Okay. SCRIPT script. Script. Alert. Invalid username. and password okay
okay with this we have completed our sign up button part here for registration button we will give a link hrf the register page which we have created we will, it will redirect this button will redirect you to register page okay register.php okay and just go here slash okay just save it and it's open the index page local host front end index okay what it gives error 24 th line unexpected run query Oh, here we have done mistake. My SQLI, Control S. Now refresh the page. Mm, still, it's not going. Ah, yeah. Same going. Control S. My SQL like connect line second in which database connectivity. So there is a problem in database connectivity. Mm. Let's do it. My SQL I. Oh, here's not S. It's missing. So put it here S. And now refresh it. Okay. Now we'll go to database section. Admin. Okay. Structure. Let's insert some data. Okay. Uh, value. Admin password one two three image mm. tt dot jpg let's give anything go let's browse the thing yeah now username is admin password is one two three okay let's create a new page see here we have given a location main page dot php so when we log in by clicking the login button we will direct it redirect it to the main page dot php so let's save this page as main page dot php okay main page dot php save it okay now let's type the username admin one two three as okay as mentioned into the database if this all things match then this will redirect you to the main page okay see the main page here the, you can see in the url localhost front and main page dot php okay uh, going back if i give a wrong password it should show me a pop pop up yeah invalid username and password so friends thank you for watching the part two of the front end back end if you like Please like by clicking like, comment 
please do subscribe my channel and please hit the bell icon thank you Hello friends, welcome to Technical Hoda. So friends, as we study in last video, we have created connected to the database and we have coded the login button. So now we have to code the register button using PHP. So let's move on to the project. Okay. Register. Here we will require to copy this database connectivity file. Copy. Paste it here. Now section. Okay. Now, what are the things you have to register? Username, password, and an image. Okay. So let's do PHP coding. PHP okay uh, if set dollar underscore post if is set means if anyone click on this register button okay underscore post what is the name of register button? Register. Okay. G I S T E R. Register. Okay. Dollar username equals to dollar underscore post. So now here user what name we have given here username okay username dollar password equals to dollar underscore post password Okay, now dollar this img is equals to dollar underscore f i file. This is a file type. Okay, file files. Okay, what is the name? image img1 okay and now just give it a temporary name as name okay dollar temp underscore name is equals to dollar I dollar F underscore file I am G one here we whatever images we are storing the database is stored into a particular folder okay tmp underscore name okay yep now what is the file path dollar file path 
equals to admin slash dollar img okay dollar img move upload file uploaded file to dollar m underscore name comma dollar file part okay now here we will start a query to insert into admin here we will write username comma password password comma image what the name we have given in database the columns username password img okay img okay now values you will give dollar username comma dollar password comma dollar img okay just take it in a in a single inverted codes okay there's a query dollar run query two okay my sqli underscore que our query database variable dollar con dollar que our query 2 okay here we have done with the part if when we get registered it will give a pop-up message that we have registered okay run q u q u e query 2 okay just put it here dollar run okay run uh, okay when this query gets run we will get and message echo script the CRIPT script alert CC count has been register okay okay save it and let's open the register page uh, let's give it any name dirt auditor password we uh, first of all, wait a second. Create one folder in WW front end back end. What code you have written it? Where you are doing it? Admin. You are putting that image in admin. Just 
create new folder admin just yeah now put any image I'm gonna put this okay let's click on register yeah the account has been registered okay now let's see the database here is only one entry that is my admin one two three this image okay let's refresh it so you can see that the new entry has arrived in this database automatically so this is the register page so friends thank you for watching the part 3 video of front end back end project if you like please like and comment on this project please do subscribe my channel and please hit the bell icon thank you guys welcome to technical hoda this is the fourth part of our project front end back end so guys in previous videos we have gone through something around uh, how to create a front end we have created the front end and uh, we have connected the login page with the database registration page with the database and in this video i am going to tell you how to extract the data from the database and put that data into the front end okay uh, just like for example uh, if you will see Facebook when we authenticate with Facebook with our email ID and password uh, it redirects us to the profile page so it extracts the data from the data database okay our data our profile it extracts from the database Facebook database okay let's start okay So we will just go through this. You will copy this part uh, from here. Yeah, copy and paste it here. Hmm. Just type here something like this. We have to create a session. So dollar dollar underscore s e s s i when session is equals to session username equals to dollar username comma okay just type here you see this is i when session underscore start function okay and we also just type ses ion session underscore stpart start okay now go on to the body part okay yep now friends our session got started we have linked the database with the main, our main page now we have to go the we have to just put an if condition here here we will put an if condition if PHP if set dollar underscore se 
I O N session username then echo welcome admin okay now in else part we will write if it is not set then echo just put here some space yeah dollar wait a second uh, like this is not set if not set and echo session username okay okay this part we have done it now we have to fetch the data Here we are right if uh, there's no need of this uh, we can write here also we will put one query dollar Q -U -E -R -Y query u one three is equals to select are from what is our database let me see go through our database let me start yes and our browser local host vamp server uh, php my admin it's taking some time yeah. so here we are front end back end what is our table name admin okay select so star from admin where username is equals to one sec dollar username is equals to dollar underscore session username okay so the username which has logged in is will stored in this variable and this variable will be using in the query okay so dollar username okay and just put it dollar run query one three is equals to my sql sqli dollar query dollar q u e r y query one three okay as we have done in this previous 
testing we have just run the query in this way same manner we will run in this in this and now dollar row q u e r query 3 my sql i underscore dollar row data is equals to my sqli underscore f e t c h fetch array dollar run q u e r y query one three okay and semicolon okay now dollar username is equals to dollar username is equals to mm, dollar row data name okay dollar image is equals to dollar row data img as we will, we will see so what information we want is when we go in admin we want username and image we will just extract username and image just for an example okay now echo div just take a table T A B L E table. Okay. T A B L E table. T R slash T R T D slash T D. Okay. Just put dollar img td slash td dollar username okay and we will save this okay now save this and just run it let's watch see what happens local host front end back end index okay just type it here admin admin this is the password we have given here one two three okay 
one two three Let's put login here's one error we got it 26 line echo Twenty-six line echo. Okay, yeah. Here we are not. Control save and just refresh it. On thirty-two line. Okay. Thirty-two line. Okay, echo. Here. Control S. Okay, okay. There's some problem in session. We'll just go for this is set and copy this in this and just close this and this control X control V save it. So friends, uh, we have done some mistake, and yeah, yeah, here's a spelling mistake of session. Control S, and rest start with index page, local host, index page. Uh, I will give you ditto and username ditto and password one two three. Okay, D I T O ditto password. One two three, okay. One two three, and just log in. Okay. The image we are not getting here properly. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, wait a second. IMG SRC equals to. just go to the folder front end back end admin in admin folder you have done it okay so type admin slash dollar img just put it here control s And again load it here localhost front end back end index the it only two one two three yeah so here you can see my image here my username here okay just we will give some specified thing td slash td okay image image slash tr okay and tr td so here was one tr so td slash td and here user name okay control s 
and now we will see it again okay close the session localhost di t on the two password one two three login okay image is this username is ditto so this is for the front end by this is all for the front end back end project friends and we have completed our project on front end back end so friends thank you for watching this video please do subscribe my channel technical hoda and please hit the bell icon for the latest updates of the video thank you for watching friends